Ramadan, oh Ramadan, Ramadan, oh Ramadan, we love you. Assalamu alaikum. Story of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Chapter 17, Hijra. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam leaves for Mecca for Yathrib. Tribes from many towns would come to Mecca once in a year to complete their pilgrimage at the Kaaba. During this time, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would visit them in their tents and spread the message of Islam. One year, he met the <coughs> leaders and tribes of Yathrib. They were very impressed by the message and became Muslims. They also promised to return the following year with more people of Yathrib. Indeed, the following year they bought leaders for, of some of the most influential tribes and they also accepted Islam. When they returned to Yathrib, they took the message of Islam with them and many people in Yathrib pledged to worship only one God. At this time, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam received revelation from God that he should leave Mecca and travel to Yathrib. At the next Hajj, 70 men from Yathrib met Prophet Muhammad wasallam on Mount Arfa. Just outside of Mecca, Muhammad wasallam's uncle Abbas radiallahu an gave them great news. Muhammad wasallam was going to migrate to Yathrib. As soon as the Muslim from Yathrib heard, they vowed that they would protect him with their lives. And so, plans for the Prophet Muhammad wasallam's departure was laid. Before he left Mecca, Prophet Muhammad wasallam advised all the other Muslims to travel to Yathrib. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was left in Mecca with just his family Ali and a few Muslims. When the Quraysh saw that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not have much support left, they vowed to kill him. <gasps> God informed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he must leave Mecca immediately, and so in 622 E.C. the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam set off on a journey to Yathrib but he did not travel alone Abu Bakr had been planning to leave for Yathrib for some time when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked him if he would like to wait to travel Abu Bakr understood the loving hint in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's word and say stayed in Mecca hoping that perhaps he would get to make the migration too with Yathrib in the same group as his beloved master. Indeed, when the time came for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to go, he called for Abu Bakr radiallahu an, but there was no groups. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had chosen Abu Bakr radiallahu an alone to be his travel companion, and the two of them set off together. The Quraysh were watching. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's home but they did not notice him leave in the morning when they stormed in to his house they found that Ali radiallahu an in his bed when they realized the mistake that they angrily set off in his pursuit Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Abu Bakr radiallahu an took shelter in a cave inside Mount Thawra the Quraysh searched for them for two days, but they remained safe inside. On the third day, the Meccans came across a cave, but they saw that the opening was fully covered with spider webs. They did not believe that the Prophet Muhammad wasallam was in the cave because the spider webs were not disturbed. What does that mean? That it, means was not it was not broken. And so the spider webs were all intact. They were still in good condition and no one has broken them. Okay, that's it. They also knew that the cave to be a dangerous place inhabited by snakes. Ooh, creepy. No, that's not. Because of this, they did not look in the cave. But if they had, they would have seen Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and Abu Bakr radiallahu an inside. 
Oh, subhanallah. After three days in the cave, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi sallam and Abu Bakr radiallahu an emerged to continue their journey. After eight days, they arrived in Yathrib. The people of Yathrib were eagerly anticipating the, his arrival and when they saw him approaching, they were overjoyed and sang the praises of Allah in his honor. The city itself was re renamed Madina Tul Nabi, Nabi or the city of the Prophet, Prophet. and Medina for short. Assalamu As alaikum. Ramadan, oh Ramadan, we